Hey, Doc. Mm -hmm. I was thinking tonight could be a good night for sex night, possibly. Ooh. It's an interesting idea, but, you know, Thursdays. Stephen Laudem, how's the new opera coming along? Good, great, yes. great. We had discussed seeing a first draft of the score in two weeks. Two weeks. Is that still all right? I'm suffering from a temporary blockage at the moment. No, turn it back on. One. G flat. Is he all right? He had a total breakdown after his last opera. Ah! I can't do this. You need to take a walk. Jolt your brain out of its little rat pattern. Interact with a stranger. Okay, honey, I have a patient. Bye. Are we going that way? I keep imagining you naked. I don't know if you want to hear more details about these images. No. I bet every one of these people has a story for an opera in them, Levi. What do you do? I operate a tugboat. The wrong hands, this tug is a deadly weapon. I'm addicted to romance. Isn't everybody? I've been arrested for stalking. I had to go to rehab. And uh, not supposed to be doing this. Can't believe that actually happened. I mean, she seduced me, right? She's a witch. The demented tugboat captain who lures men to her tugboat and kills them and eats them. I loved it. How did you come up with that? I was really angry at you. And now it turns out I'm your muse. Do what? Oh, Steve, I'll never leave you. Um. I love cleaning. Cleanliness is close to godliness. When my patients are talking, I imagine getting inside their heads with disinfectant and just scrubbing them down. Your tugboat captain came to see me. I'm in love. No, no! Just admit that I had a magic effect on you. My imagination came up with the story. My talent wrote the music. I mean, you don't kill men and eat them, do you? <laughs> well, I haven't yet. You know I can't resist a romantic story, even if I'm not in it.